You're listening to the American Democracy Minute, keeping your government by and for the people. Against the recommendations of state and county election officials, three Trump loyalists serving on the Georgia State Election Board voted Friday to mandate county election officials do hand count reconciliation of machine counted ballots. The move may unnecessarily delay results and require more personnel. The state's top election official, Secretary Brad Raffensperger, spoke against this and other conspiracy theory driven proposals back in August, calling them misguided. The Georgia Recorder reports that the president of the Georgia Association of Voter Registration and Election Officials testified that there wasn't enough time to train local poll workers prior to the November 5th election. The requirement approved 3 to 2 Friday does not mandate a hand count of the races. Instead, it requires a hand count of paper ballots into stacks of 50 to compare with the machine count totals. Machine counted ballots are consistently more accurate, faster, require fewer poll workers, and are less expensive. More last-minute rule changes are expected September 23rd when the state election board meets again. In response to Governor Brian Kemp's inquiry as to whether he could take action against the three partisan actors on the board, State Attorney General Chris Carr advised Kemp that he had no obligation to act on ethics complaints against the three board members. We've linked to the new rule and groups taking action at AmericanDemocracyMinute.org. I'm Brian Beal.